Please hang up and try again. Hey, what's up everyone? Louis Tran here. So I've been spending more and more time in Windows with the PC that I just built not too long ago. And one of the inconveniences in being in the Apple ecosystem for so long is not being able to send and receive text messages and iMessages on my Windows desktop. Apple really does do a good job in trapping you into using their services. Sure, there are a handful of ways to do this by installing a VM, jailbreaking, etc. But I wanted to find an easy alternative to do so. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get iMessage to work on any Windows PC without jailbreaks or needing to remote into another Mac. To be more specific, I'm going to show you how to get Dell Mobile Connect onto any Windows PC. So. What is Dell Mobile Connect? Well, it's an app from Dell that allows you to send and receive text, transfer files, get notifications from your Android or iPhone onto your Dell computer. It's a more iOS friendly version of Dell's, I'm sorry, more iOS friendly version of Microsoft's Your Phone app. But unlike Microsoft's app, Dell Mobile Connect will allow you to send and receive iMessages. But what if you don't have a Dell? No problem. Just follow these simple steps. Okay, so here we are on my Windows PC and we're gonna walk through this whole process together. Okay, so the first step is to, of course, open up your browser right over here uh, and then go to the Microsoft Store. Just, just go to Microsoft.com. Uh, make sure that uh, you know you go to the App Store from the browser, not on the actual app that's built in the Windows yet. So, okay, we, that's where we're already at, Microsoft.com. And then you're gonna make sure that uh, you're logged into the Microsoft Store. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so uh, hit search. And then from here, you type Dell, you type Dell Mobile Connect. And there it is. Yeah, it's the first thing that's right there. So go ahead and click uh, Dell Mobile Connect. And then from here on, uh, for me, I already have the, uh, I've already downloaded the app, but for you, you, if you haven't downloaded the app, you click this three dots right next to it. And there's gonna be an option for you to add to the cart. So go ahead and add to the cart. And once you do that, you hit check out. So click on check out, you know, don't worry, this app is free. You're not uh, paying for anything. And after checking out and the purchasing process is done, uh, open up the Microsoft Store application on Windows. So um, open the Windows App Store. Uh, just type store in right here and you open up the Microsoft Store. And you click on the three dots on the Microsoft Store. You know, it's right next to your, your icon. So you go to my library. Once you go to my library, uh, search for your Dell Mobile Connect. It should be the one of the top three things that's on the screen. And then for me, it is the third thing that's on the screen. So go ahead and click uh, install. It's a 50 meg app. Okay, so once it installs, you go ahead and launch the application. Let's go ahead and hit launch right here. And then you're gonna follow the instructions that are on the screen. So uh, go ahead and hit get started. And then if you have an iPhone, obviously you click iPhone, you have an Android, you're gonna click Android. So I have an iPhone, click on iPhone, hit next. Now once that's done, uh, there's gonna be a QR code that's popped up in your screen. And down, go ahead and download the app from the App Store on your iPhone. Just uh, once again, search Mo Dell Mobile Connect or uh, use that QR code and it'll lead you straight to the application on the App Store. So on your Dell Mobile Connect uh, app on your iPhone, uh, click pair with PC. And then there's gonna be a phone encryption code that's on your screen. So go ahead and type in uh, whatever that is that matches onto your screen. Once you do that, just hit next and then it's gonna go ahead and sync up. It's gonna pair. So for me, you know, sometimes I think it's because I'm redoing this whole process again and I didn't restart my computer. I just uninstalled the app and then I'm, and I'm running it again. Uh, go ahead and set the device manually. And you're gonna have to pair manually 
So I'm going to have to pair it manually with this. And then um, it's going to say, you know, to make sure that pin matches on your iPhone to what's on your screen, you just hit pair and then hit next once that's done. takes a while and then you uh, approve the uh, display notifications just again once again just follow everything that's that's on your screen um, you hit allow and then hit next so it's gonna tell you to approve some permissions that's uh, on your on your iPhone so with this it allows you to to sync uh, the contacts and the text messages. So, you know, from your iPhone, just uh, open up the Bluetooth settings and then hit uh, I from on your iPhone on the, uh, on your, that's uh, paired with you, the computer that's paired with your, your iPhone. And then just uh, allow to show notifications and allow to sync the contacts. And once that's done, it's gonna tell you once your device is connected, and you are all set. So all the all the notifications are going to be synced to your iPhone onto your desktop, and you can also send and receive uh, text messages and iMessages as well. So you know I'm just going to start one with myself, and. And I'm going to show you the text messages that I sent to my screen. And there it is. You know, it's uh, synced, it's synced right up. Whatever I met, this is, I'm, I just sent an iMessage to myself and it showed up onto the screen. All right. Congratulations. You got it working. I mean, this app isn't perfect in any way, but you know, it does work. It will sync the notifications and you will be able to send and receive iMessages. Now the limitation of this is when you have to send group messages as well as uh images it won't i mean group messages will work but what the when you receive the message and then when you send it to that group it's just gonna go to that individual person it, it won't go to the uh it won't send the group text it'll just go to that particular person that uh that you're replying to or that whoever the last person that uh that texted in that group message so I'm telling you, it's not perfect, but it does work. And pretty sure that this app will continue to evolve as uh, as Dell continues to develop it. Hopefully they don't abandon it, but hey, you know, it's, uh, it's currently what we got. It's definitely better than what Microsoft has right now. I mean, Microsoft's app doesn't even work for the iPhone. I mean, all you can do is send and uh, send links from the Edge browser, which is kind of useless but hey you know like i said it's not working <laughs> and uh congratulations you got it up and running thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video